Hey, good morning everyone. How are you? This is Andrew. I want to do a quick Ecomi and BB video because we got some big news as of this morning. Omi is officially launched on a new exchange as of today. So we've been waiting for this news since May. You know, as we probably, if, or you have probably heard, the plan for Ecomi this year is to get listed on five new exchanges before the end of the year. And this is the first of those five that are planned for this year, if everything goes as planned. So, you know, at first when they released the name of this exchange, I hadn't heard of it before. But after going into some of the numbers and where it stands compared to other exchanges, I think this is a potential for some pretty good exposure for Omi. So we're going to go into the details why. So if you like this content by the end of it, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think of as well. And let's jump into this. So if we go to the top exchanges on CoinMarketCap here on their ranking. So how do they rank these? Well, CoinMarketCap ranks and scores exchanges based on traffic, liquidity, trading volumes, and confidence in le the legitimacy of trading volumes reported. So they track 312 spot exchanges with a total 24-hour volume of 267 billion so let's take a look at this so as we know Binance is the top exchange in the world and right behind them is coinbase now out of that 312 let's see where we were at before when we were on when we I mean we're still on bit forex um, let's just see where out of this you know 312 where does that stand well if we scroll way down here we bit forex is ranked 110 and I couldn't even find uh, bitmax um, as well I you know I'm in the United States so I've used bitforex but on this list I didn't you know spend a, a ton of time searching for it but I couldn't find bitmax so bitforex though is ranked at 110 so now if we scroll back up to the top where does OK exchange stand well they're sitting at number 18 so they are in the top 20 exchanges in the world for cryptocurrency which is I think a fantastic start to these five exchanges that we're supposed to get this year now this is for the overall ranking they're at number 18 but let's dig into some of these numbers here and I think it's actually you know looking better than expected really so if we go into the 24 hour volume let's click here Binance is still at number one but look at this one two three four five this exchange is in the top five in the world for a 24-hour trading volume now I think that's because of how you know or who they are catering to you know they were born out of it was called OK coin which was a you know more simple exchange uh, really catered to the the retail investor you know just real simple buying and selling and this exchange, OK Exchange, was born for more of the more advanced traders. So they do like futures trading, they do leverage trading, a number of different services, and they have a more a wider diverse uh, set of coins to invest in as well, which we'll go over in a second. So because of that, they have a pretty high trading volume on there. So that means there's a lot of active members on there. Now, if we go into weekly visits. Now let's take a look at this. You know, obviously Binance is sitting at number one, but let's see where OK Exchange is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and they're sitting at number ten. So in the top ten for the weekly visits and all these exchanges, which is really good. We'd like to see active people on there buying and selling, and it really give some really good exposure to Omi for there. Also, too, this is one of the one I thought was really interesting. So if we go into number of markets that they are in, you know, we have Hotbit number one, Gate.io number two, Binance number three, but where does OK Exchange stand? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're in the top ten as well for the number of markets that they're in. So it, even if we go back to Let's see the top here. So Binance is in 1,359. Coinbase is only in 252. Now, I don't know the exact, you know, uh, markets that they're in. Obviously, we know that Coinbase is the first one to go public and, you know, it's huge exposure and everything. But in terms of the number of markets, it looks like we have, uh, you know, OK Exchange 
and a lot more. So I thought that was pretty fascinating. Now if we go into the number of coins that they offer, we have, let's see where they're ranked here. So number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So still in the top 10, because they have, let's see, 276 coins on there. So they have a pretty wide diversity of coins. So overall, I think this is a really good start, especially if this is the first of the five. And we, we've seen with Ecomi's strategy so far that you know they really start small and then build up to the big stuff. So if we get better and better exchanges every time, I'm not saying that we're going to, uh, I don't know for sure, but if we do, and the first of these five are in the top 20, and a lot of their, their weekly volume, the 24-hour volume is in the top 10 in the cryptocurrency world, I think that's a pretty good start. And that'll, you know, especially when Omi starts getting some more attention around it, when we hear Marvel, when we hear Pokemon and all this stuff, and it's listed on these big exchanges like this, and word really starts getting out, and the you know all these markets are exposed to this, I think it's a pretty dang good start there. So... And let's take a look just at, you know, they've been on, on this exchange for, I believe, less than 24 hours. And let's see what their, their coin is doing here. So we're up 17%. So I believe it was at 0 0.0023 over the weekend. We're now up to 0 0.0031. So we're seeing some, you know, some immediate attention from there, you know, right away, which is good. So overall... I think it's a good start. Like I said, I hadn't heard about this exchange until I started digging into some numbers, but after digging into those numbers, it looks like this could be potentially some pretty good exposure for OMI and a really good start to the five exchanges that we're supposed to get this year. So let me know what you guys think of down below. Um, you know, my, <clears throat> excuse me, am I missing something? Is there something, you know, that uh, is even more important on here? You know, I just want to go through some initial numbers just because I hadn't heard of them before, but if you know some more details about this exchange, you know why this could be beneficial, you know to the Omi token. Let me know in the comments down below. I want to learn more on this as well. And if you like these updates, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.